Welcome back to Online Darts, everyone. Here we are at the Modus MDA event in Skegness, and we've got MVG. Michael, your form in exhibitions has been superb. Last night in Newcastle, couldn't miss the bullseye. No, no, I play really well, and uh, it's nice when it works out, when it goes well. And yeah, tonight's a new night here at Skegness. On last night, young lad, Adam, that you played yeah, in, in the final, well. a real talent considering he doesn't play on the proper tour or anything like that. He's one to watch out for. Yeah, I think he did really well. He played some good phenomenal darts over the evening. He did really well against Mark Webster as well. Against the other qualifying in the semi-finals and against me, he even had two match darts. So fair play to him. I hope uh, he can keep going this form going because that, that will be good for him. But uh, more for myself, I was playing good darts as well. And I think it was some, uh, some good games yes yesterday, especially in Newcastle. The day before, I was a little bit poor, especially, <laughs> especially against Mark Webster. But uh, yeah, it's one of the things for exhibitions. Back to you, World Grand Prix has been added yeah. to your growing collection. At the start of the year, there were many question marks raised by people in the media about the Green Machine. Answered them emphatically and three big TV tournaments must please you. Yeah, of course, it definitely pleased me, especially when you win tournaments like that. It gives you confidence, it gives you motivation and that's what you want. Are you maybe one world championship away from having a perfect year? Yeah, I think, yeah, you can look at it that way, but uh, still far to, uh, far away to go. Still a lot of tournaments coming up beforehand, uh, the European finals, uh, the Grand Slam of Darts played championship finals. So, yeah, uh, I'm not, my eyes are not on the World Championship yet. I like the way yet with a little smirk that it's gleaming on Alexandra Palace. Um, going back to Leicester, did you win the War of the Mind Games as well? Because it all got... A little, from our point of view in the media, it was great. You, Gezi and, and Peter. And did you win that battle as well, off the hockey? I don't need to win any battles. I've won them anyway, and they know that. But for me, I just need to make sure I focus myself on my game. I think that's the most, most important thing. From there on, I think you can build towards the rest of the season as well. So you don't want to waste too much energy on yeah, defending yourself, talking nonsense, things like that. You just want to focus myself on my game. Last one on the on the talking and everything. In Gibraltar, your interview after you beat Jose was was very out of character for you. Normally, yeah. no, no, normally, we know when players have irritated you or there's something bubbling under the skin, but that seemed to come from nowhere. What what brought that on? Uh, yeah, we, we had a little. Uh, it's Jose's missus interfering with the game, and she shouldn't do that. Uh, uh, what happens on stage is something between the players, and we spoke about that afterwards. Me and Jose and. Yeah, the, 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 we, we clear the sky, that's the most important thing. But obviously I wasn't happy, but yeah, things have always a reason. Going back to what you said earlier as well about focus, has that been some of the Michael Van Gerwen problem over the last 18 months was the focus? Because you had it all your own way for so long and did you take your eye off the ball a little bit? Yeah, maybe. You can, uh, also, Corona didn't really help, uh, of course. From, uh, mm, yeah, everything together. Sometimes it doesn't really go your way and then you have to work harder and that's, I think, what I did and what I needed. And from there on, you need to to look to the perspective. Hey, where do you want to go? What do you want to win? And I think from there on, uh, I managed to do quite well. If you were to add the fourth world title to your gl glittering resume, how long does Michael Van Gogh have left in the sport? Because I always remember back before Corona that you were eyeing 40 and goodbye, but I'm guessing this corona just maybe stretched that a little bit longer. Yeah, of course, it's definitely stretched out uh, a little bit, but it also depends how, how long I'm gonna like the game still. Do you know what I mean? I love what I do still at the moment, and as long as I've got this feeling, I won't be off the tour. Do you know, I will be on the tour, and uh, I hope I keep that feeling for a long time. When you were going through that tricky spell, and what you said there about still loving the game, did it, the hurt? Also, also reignite the fire for the sport. That's how it works. You first need to know how to lose games before you can be a great champion again. And that's what, what happens constantly. It comes and goes, and that's what you have to accept. And sometimes it does go your way, sometimes it doesn't. But you have to keep fighting, keep uh, try to develop yourself. And that's, for me, uh, a key moments. PDC released the calendar as well for 2023. Not many spare weeks for you top guys, is there? No, 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 you have to create spare weeks, simple as that, and that's why, yeah, I'm trying to do, because I also got a family, of course, so you need to find some time as well for that. Is that going to be the key battle for you, obviously, because in the Premier League, it's hard to pick off, so I'm guessing we're not going to see you in every Pro Tour and every Euro Tour during the Premier League, because that's almost impossible to manage, isn't it? I'm probably going to do all the pro, all the Euro Tours next year, that's, but Pro Tours, of course, are going to do a little bit less, and you never know... Uh, what happens, how you feel, uh, you can get sick, uh, you can 
don't feel yourself too well. So it's difficult to, to manage your shadow from day one till the end. You cannot do it at the moment. It's too difficult. I'm going to play devil's advocate here. You win the World Championship. Yeah. Then there's two World Series events in January. For any top player, is that not really on scheduling-wise? Because there's no time for you to, in one, enjoy a win, and two, you don't get Christmas as a top player anyway. So that it's been family time, isn't it? Is that a little bit annoying, no scheduling of events in that sort of time? Yeah, but what can I do? Uh, I'm a player. I'm not the, own, uh, the I'm not the PDC. I'm not the own, uh, organizer. So. Yeah, you have to deal with the situation, and uh, for for me, yeah, doesn't really suit me to be fair. But we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Michael, pleasure as always, and thank, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.